December 20, 2022, Tuesday of the fourth week of Advent, Saint of the Day, Saint Dominic of Silos. Today's readings. First reading, a reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Again the Lord spoke to Ahaz, Ask for a sign from the Lord your God. Let it be deep as soul, or high as the sky. But Ahaz answered, I will not ask, I will not tempt the Lord. Then he said, Listen, house of David, is it not enough that you weary human beings? Must you also weary my God? Therefore the Lord himself will give you a sign. The young woman pregnant and about to bear a son shall name him Emmanuel. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm Let the Lord enter, he is the King of glory. The Lord's are the earth and its fullness, the world and those who dwell in it. For he founded it upon the seas and established it upon the rivers. Let the Lord enter, he is the King of glory. Who can ascend the mountain of the Lord? Or who may stand in his holy place? He whose hands are sinless, whose heart is clean, who desires not what is vain. Let the Lord enter, he is the King of glory. He shall receive a blessing from the Lord, a reward from God his Savior. Such is the race that seeks for him that seeks the face of the God of Jacob. Let the Lord enter, he is the King of glory. Alleluia, Alleluia, O Key of David, opening the gates of God's eternal kingdom, come and free the prisoners of darkness. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Holy Gospel, a reading from the Holy Gospel according to Saint Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent from God to a town of Galilee called Nazareth to a virgin betrothed to a man named Joseph of the house of David, and the virgin's name was Mary. And coming to her, he said, Hail, favored one, the Lord is with you. But she was greatly troubled at what was said and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. Then the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. Behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called Son of the Most High, and the Lord God will give him the throne of David his father. And he will rule over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. But Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I have no relations with a man? And the angel said to her in reply, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the child to be born will be called Holy, the Son of God. And behold, Elizabeth, your relative, has also conceived a son in her old age, and this is the sixth month for her, who was called barren. For nothing will be impossible for God. Mary said, Behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord. May it be done to me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Reflection. This Gospel from Luke is one that is very familiar to us. It is the story of Mary's Annunciation when the angel appeared to her and revealed to her that she would conceive and bear a son. Ask yourself, how do you think Mary reacted emotionally to the angel's appearance and to the angel's words that she would have a child even though she had not been with a man? Luke says that Mary was extremely troubled at the angel's news. 
She must have had many questions and concerns. What did all this mean? How was this to come about? What would she tell Joseph? This tale was too fantastic for him to believe. Would he believe her or reject her? Yet somehow, in the midst of her turmoil, Mary was able to trust God, and she freely consented to what God was asking of her. At times, Jesus and life also presents us with difficult or painful situations that may stir up a storm of emotion in us. How do we respond? Do we get angry, fearful, or anxious? Do we distance ourselves from God? Do we gradually come to believe that God is with us? Do we trust that God will guide and grace us? We have a wonderful motto in Mary. Like Mary, we need to keep ourselves grounded in the God we know, trust, and love. If we do this, then we may believe and trust that we will receive the grace and strength we need. This will bring us peace. God will bring us peace. Today, may we ask Mary to pray for us. She has walked in these shoes. She will walk with us always.